Yes, yes, one more. And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one. This one begins in long... Hey, Vol. Have you seen Wallace? Where is he? Where is Sigurd? He... he's alive. But not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Ranvi. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor! We deserve the truth! I need to speak with Ranvi. Step aside, now! You never found him, because you didn't look! <clears throat> I see you, Eivor! I know what you are. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Folke, she... She slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances, remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Ranvi. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. Stop there, Wolfkist! This ends now! Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment. Because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dag, but that offer is gone. I have no need of it. My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home. Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death. You spew nonsense, Dag. This is absurd. Enough! Let the circle be made! I'll make a goblet of your skull! Both of you! I do not want to do this. Walk away. Are you scared? Only what I must do. I would grant you a 
exile. Leave this place. Go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. You could have come with me. You're a fool, Dag. You see where it's gotten you. Silence! Forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded, you gave him. That should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. We should not have come to this old friend. Take this and fly to Odin's Hall. Whatever you sought in this life, may you find it in the next. <clears throat> Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this... This is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unvarnished. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you! And I will burn the fields and dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That, that is my oath. That is my oath. We'll find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl. This I promise. Dag, you lived as you died, proud and defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend, but I remember them well.
Eivor. How do you feel, Eivor? I... I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. mind is fixed on Sussex. Bassam and I have a chance to save Sigurd. But we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. I will go now. And I'll bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Bassam when you can. He should be in Croindene by now.
Let's go hooded here. Drunk as form with album.
Red basket of Wessex, land of plenty. Survey the area, Sunan. We are making great strides. You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Gudrun Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... I'm... sorry. You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Guthrum Jarl, Saxon Bane and Reaver of the South. I am honored to meet you at last. Respect where it's due. I like that. Here's hoping you fight as smoothly as you talk. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we are able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I'll not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfeeder. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Sigurd's last. You had better be all they promised. <laughs> <laughs> 